Okay, so uh, the most common thing that was asked for was uh, more help with word problems. Um, on Wednesday, we are going to go over these other four examples I have up here. And so for five, we'll just go over this one just so you guys have one on an extended video. And then we'll also just do a little quick review on symbols. And I'll do one quick example of, like, again, which variable to move, et cetera. But I think we got that overall. So let's go through this one here. The student council is considering two different companies to print the school's yearbooks. Great graphic charges two fifty plus twelve fifty per book. Print Express charges nine hundred plus nine fifty per book. How many orders of yearbooks would make Print Express the better option? So we need to look at this equation in terms of inequality. So we have great graphics is our first um, equation we're going to look at, and then we have Print Express. So great graphics, we'll just use GG. Their equation is two fifty is the set amount plus twelve fifty x. What does x signify per book? Okay, so we come on our print express. So PE, this equation is 900 plus 950x. Okay, so we want to compare them. So it says, how many orders the yearbooks would make print express to be the better option? So what we have to sort out here, we have to sort out what does better option mean in terms of money? What does better option mean in terms of expense? Okay, in terms of expense, the better option is the cheaper option. So what we want to do is we want to figure out this when PE is less than great graphics. So we want to solve that equation. So we will go 900 plus 950x less than 250 plus 1250x. Ran out of room there, sorry but I'll do the work over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our x's together first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus the 950. I know it's hard to see here on the edge, so I'll come over here. So we'll have, this makes this go away. So we're going to have 900 less than 250 plus $3 x, because 1250 minus 950 is 3 bucks. You can just write three if you want. I just put three dollars so you can see it as money still. Okay, and then we're going to minus 250, minus 250. Okay, that gives you 650 is less than three dollars x, and then we're going to divide by three. Okay. And when we do that, it's going to kick out what the like kind of breaking point of when one is cheaper than the other. So by looking at that, we want to go ahead and go, okay, so 650 divided by 3 is 216, so it's going to be 216, point, and it's 0.67 repeating, so it's going to be 216 and 67 cents, or excuse me, 67 books, and we'll talk about that in a second and less than x. So we can't have 0.67 of a book, so that means 217. We'll round to the nearest book. So 217 is when it'll be the cheapest. So if you buy more, again, I'm keeping the open symbol here, if you buy more than 217 books, you want PE, Print Express. If you go less than 217 books, you want great graphics. Okay, for a school of our size of only 300 students, I would say we probably want to go with great graphics because we don't have as big of a student body as a school of, you know, that has about 1,800 kids. Okay, so at this point, <coughs> for the sake of the problem, we want to go with Print Express after 217 copies. Okay, so let's take a second here again, and we need to work on reading the variables. Okay, it doesn't matter if I go x greater than 3 or if I go um, 3 less than x. We need to make sure we understand these are the same things, but we can still read them differently. Okay, so if x is greater than 3, everybody in here probably understands that means 3 and bigger, greater than. But we understand this right here, 3 is less than x. So if that means 3 is less than our answer, it's the same section. 3 less than x means 3 is less than what our answers are and in not including 3. So that means all of our answers are bigger than 3. Okay, that's how you can translate them differently. But at the end of the day, we have to have this down. We have to be able to read greater than or equal to a 
nothing greater than. And then we have less than, less than equal to. And you always read them that way, no matter what they're written. So even up here, this is 3 less than x. Now, even though it's written less than x, that still means the same thing as x greater than 3. Okay? You still read them the same. But don't forget the simple ones, equal and not equal. Okay? So, again, that's your quick review. We've got to get the symbols down. Okay? Got to get the symbols down. And we'll do one example here. <clears throat> Let's do one of the distribution examples here. We got three times two x minus eight is greater than or equal to um, six. No, yeah, let's go six minus two x. Okay, this might be ugly because I just made it off the top of my head, so we'll see what happens here. So distribution. The first thing I want to do is I want to actually distribute. Okay, so that gives me six x minus twenty four. I want to distribute the three times the two and the three times the eight is greater than or equal to 6 minus 2x. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go, um, add, excuse me, I'm going to add the 2x, add the 2x. That's gone. I moved that one because it's the smallest one. 8x minus 24 is greater than or equal to 6. Add 24, add 24. 8x is greater than or equal to 30. Divide 8, divide 8, x is greater than or equal to 30 over 8. Okay, now, so I made it up, it's not a nice clean number, but I would like you to be able to still reduce, that's week 1 stuff for us, 30 and 8 both have a 2 that goes into them, so your simplest answer here would be 15 over 4, or that is 3.75, okay? All right, I just want to keep this one short. We did one word problem, we reviewed the symbols, and we did distribution problem. That's the three that were mentioned in your guys' um, extra help exit cards. Okay, thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow.